Now, if we look at the big picture from 1980 to 2000, 1980 seems like ancient history to some of you guys. It was not that long ago. Okay, but, you know, we look at the overall environment going on in the United States. Certainly, we had enormously friendly uh, government policies related to, uh, to how we dealt with risk. Risk was a business problem, not an anathema. Okay? Uh, we're dealing with... Uh, with uh, <coughs> um, uh, encouraging innovation, entrepreneurism, broad concepts like broad-based employee ownership. Uh, and we had a, I mean, it was a very, very uh, favorable kind of regulatory government environment towards business. We had a very efficient capital market system that resulted in an incredibly fluid flow of capital to innovation. Uh, the, we had a global environment that was characterized by cheap and abundant, virtually seemingly infinitely abundant energy. And all of this took place in the context of an information revolution that was quite phenomenal. And that information revolution, and it, so, so that drove a market, that information revolution kind of drove a market from 1980 to 2000 that grew at a 17% compound annual growth rate. Okay, you will not find a lot of, you know, go do a Wikipedia on that, okay, and you will not find a lot of markets that grew that fast that long. So it grew from virtually nothing to, you know, over a trillion dollars in that period of time. A market growing at a 17% compound annual growth rate, I mean, all you had to do was show up and not goof it up. Okay, I mean, the, all ships were rising. I mean, it was crazy. Okay, and it was like 1999. You just can't imagine what it was like. It was, it was some. And these were, every one of these were basically total replacement markets. Okay, these were not incremental advantages on the last generation. So when you were involved in, you know, in any one of these kind of revolutions and you were calling on a customer, I mean, it, was, it wasn't a question if they were going to buy it. They might not think they were going to buy it. Okay, but you knew they were going to buy it. It was just a question whether it was this year or two years from now. And they were going to buy it or they were going to go out of business. They were going to be non-competitive. So these were entire replacement markets, and that in, true, that in turn drove a market that grew at 17% compound on your growth rate for two decades. It was a great business. 